you probably have all used an app to find a route from one point to another. Here's a map produced by Google Maps to find a route from Cornell University's Day Hall to Gates Hall, where computer science lives. Somehow, although I didn't tell it to do this, Google Maps inferred that I wanted walking routes, not driving routes. That shortest path algorithm is based on one developed by Edsger W. Dijkstra in 1956. At that time, Edsger had no high-level language in which to think. Here's what Edsger said about developing the algorithm. One morning, I was shopping in Amsterdam with my young fiancé, and, tired, we sat down on the cafe terrace to drink a cup of coffee. I was just thinking about whether I could do this, and I then designed the algorithm for the shortest path. As I said, it was a 20-minute invention. Imagine that. He developed it in his head in 20 minutes. No paper and pencil. No language support except Dutch. Further, Edsger didn't bother publishing it until two to three years later. One could ask, of course, why wasn't Edsger talking to his fiance instead of thinking about an algorithm? What about her? Ha! Well, his fiance, Ria Debitz, knew him well, and she was also a programmer. She was one of a dozen women who had completed high school with exceptionally high grades in mathematics and were hired to work in the new computing department at the Mathematical Center in Amsterdam. Edsger taught Ria and the other women programming. He was working on his PhD, which he got in 1959. They were married a year later in 1957, and they were close companions, really close, until he died in 2002. She passed away 10 years later. To give some context, in 1956, when Edsger developed the shortest path algorithm, I, Greece, was a sophomore in Queens College in New York City. I didn't learn about computers until the fall of 1959. By happenstance, Edsger and I taught together in a week-long summer school in Maryland in 1972, and we became friends and colleagues. His work and friendship over the years have influenced me greatly. In 1956, Edsger did not have a formal concept of a loop invariant. That wasn't developed until about 1968. And yet, his description of the algorithm is remarkably close to our development and description, which you will shortly see. Edsger was one of the most deep and prolific thinkers in the history of computing, and his contributions to computer science are vast and profound. The easiest way to learn something about him is to look at his Wikipedia page and then also look at the archive of his work at the University of Texas.